Hello everyone, and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. I'm Shane. As always, you can follow me on Twitter, at smthomas3. You can also go to the CodeKarate.com website and sign up for the newsletter over here. Today, we're going to continue on learning a little bit about views bulk operations. And you can see, if you haven't already watched episode number 52, I would recommend watching that first. That's going to go over the basics. And also, if you have not watched any of the episode episodes on the rules module, which looks like episodes number 24, 25, and 26, they may be helpful. You know, you would probably get through this without it, but afterwards you may want to go back and watch those as well. However, today we're going to look at views bulk operations and how to actually use views bulk operations to execute or trigger a rule. Now this obviously is very useful for building out very complex workflows and administration pages. As we went over yesterday, views bulk operations allows you to create a view of, in our example we use nodes, but it can be any type of entity, users or any other entity that's declared, and create actions, or excuse me, execute actions on multiple of those select of those nodes, users, etc., and perform something. So in yesterday's example, we were able to publish multiple posts at one time, or unsticky or sticky multiple nodes at one time using the views bulk operations module. So let's go ahead and pull up that view, and we'll take a look at where we left off. So we have a views bulk operations test view that we created yesterday. As you can see, it has the bulk operations field and a couple other fields. You can see an example down below. We'll go ahead and we'll go to the page so you can see what it looks like. You can see you have the operations field set up here. You can select multiple items from the view and execute actions on these. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how to create a simple rule. We're not going to go too far into rules because we have that other episodes that go into that, but how to execute a simple rule from here. So instead of just selecting unpublished content, we could say for test article 1 and test article 2, we want to run this rule that may, uh, let's say you have guest posts and you want to send an email to all the authors using rules. You could do something like that or you could, any type of workflow you could build with rules or any type of action, you can tie in with the views bulk operations module. So the sky is really the limit and I guess you can pretty much figure out anything that your imagination might be able to come up with for multiple different scenarios of how this can be useful. So the first step, we're going to download the rules module using Drush. We go ahead and get that downloaded. I'm going to hop over to the modules page. And you can see we have rules. I'm going to go ahead and install rules and rules UI. And I will click save. need the entity tokens module as well. So I'll go ahead and let that be installed. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to the rules configuration page and create a simple rule. Excuse me, we're actually going to start, we're going to go back here. We're going to go ahead and look at components. We're going to add a new component. It says components are standalone sets of rules that can be used by rules and other modules on your site. So we're going to add a new component. And we're going to go ahead and say we want this to be an action set. The variable, we'll go ahead and say this is going to be a node. We'll go ahead and call this VBO underscore node. This is going to be a parameter. We'll go ahead and hit continue. Now, we're, now that we have this action set created, we're going to go ahead and add a couple actions. We can, for instance, 
we'll say we'll publish the content and we're going to we're going to go back and select node here we're also going to go ahead and we can send mail so we can go ahead and find just to keep this basic we'll just use the site email address and we will say test email test message we're just gonna go through and show some simple simple ways to get this set up and working and obviously you can do whatever you want here this one doesn't really make sense I guess you could say if someone was publishing content that wasn't the site owner and you wanted an email to go out every time content was published from this interface you could use this rule so we're gonna save it it's nothing in the settings that's uh, we've already configured that we're gonna save changes and now that that's saved we are going to go back to our view and if everything is set up correctly you won't notice any differences yet but we'll come in and edit the view we should be able to hopefully find that action set in here you'll notice I, I went ahead and I clicked on the bulk operations that's the checkbox field that we added and you'll notice in here there is a rules action set and you can choose to enqueue the operation which it would be to queue it up and execute it later you can skip the confirmation step you can override the label and we'll go ahead and override and say publish and email so that's what's going to show up we'll go ahead and hit apply all displays save it and we'll give this thing a quick test so now if I go here you'll notice there's a publish and email I'm going to go ahead and first make sure I unpublish these and I will hit execute it's going to ask me to confirm it now if I open this up you'll notice it looks like my home page is blank I will now go ahead and run publish and email I will go ahead and execute that if I okay oh there we go and I go ahead and hit confirm now it's gonna run through this rule it might take a little bit of time because it has to go through a few more operations if I run to the home page you can see both these articles are now published I'm going to go ahead and open up my email quick just to ensure that I got that and, and obviously this isn't a very useful use case because I'm going to get multiple emails so it really there you know you'd probably not use this exact use case because as you, as you can see I got two emails that say test message they all both had the test email subject so you can obviously figure out your own use cases but what this will allow you to do is build out and it really expand on what views bulk operations can do to pretty much build out any type of workflow you want without actually having to write any custom code so it's super easy to get started and I recommend you try it out because this can make building an administration back end of your site incredibly easy incredibly flexible and I highly recommend trying it out and that's it for this time on the daily dose of Drupal we'll be back again tomorrow with another exciting episode thank you for watching